Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello. Welcome. Now, I don't want to steal someone else's intro. So, when I say welcome, I'm just saying welcome. I'm not going welcome, 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 which is my favorite menopause and madness, which is how she open. I can't do it as cool as she can, but I hope that she doesn't think that I'm trying to steal her intro line with my welcome sign but welcome peace be with you how are you um how was your day my day was it the weather is horrible outside you guys we decided to do my mom's birthday some other time because the weather is so bad and it's cold it's rainy it's wind the winds are like a billion miles an hour i'm waiting for the electricity to go out so that's just weird but I am here with a Timu haul, a big Timu haul. Now I think this is my, I think this is my, I'm trying to get some kind of a thumbnail, but I hate the way that thing backlights my little, my hair, all the little strands stick up. Jeez. Uh, it's so heavy. Okay. You guys want to see how this showed up like this? So is everything in there? I have no idea. But I also got three. Can you believe that? Let's take a look at that one more time. Look at that. Look at this. Look at it. This is how this showed up at my house. I'm yelling. Oops, it's not the right side. Okay, put that over here for a minute. This is going to be a long haul. Go fix yourself a drink. I'll wait. Or something to eat or whatever floats your boat. And I've also got three little bags. So we will, we will all together open those too. And I don't know, you know, I think that this is my sponsored Timu haul called Cozy Winter Essentials. That's what the theme is called. And if that's the case, then in fact, I'm willing to put money on it. Hold on. I was watching Deb's Cool Finds before this. If you haven't watched Deb's Cool Finds, she's good. If you like, well, okay. Yeah. If you like YouTuber or haulers who, who are conversational while they, while they haul, She's a good channel to watch, and I will link to her channel below, but I was watching her at work, stealth watching her at work, while I was, you know, doing my little spreadsheets and all kinds of things. Let me pull up. I'm sorry I didn't get it pulled up in time. I didn't get it pulled up in time. Where are the cats? I don't know. Let's not, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know where they are. I'm sure by the time this bag is through or whatever. Stop it. My phone is being obnoxious. Uh-oh. I think the Timu app is frozen. Just calm down a minute. Okay. I need my glass. Oh, no, I don't. Um, um, winter new looks. I'm sorry. That's the name of my campaign. Winter new looks, and here's the list of all the things that I picked that I thought, oh, I forgot my boot. They're way over there. You guys remember those boots I showed you the other day? Well, those were part of it. Well, I think that's what this is because I, I'm not expecting an order that big. And what else is going on? I'm wearing nothing Timu today. This is from Amazon. And I, this sweater, this turtleneck sweater, and I'm wearing it. It's long. I'm wearing it over black leggings. This beautiful necklace was a gift from Diane over at Mimi's Life channel. She sent it to me for Christmas. And I'm also wearing the bracelet. And it also come, can't, bleh. It comes with these earrings too. But I kind of wanted to keep the focus on the necklace. So I just p kept my little moissanite teardrops on. But, and then I'll wear these earrings on their own, always with the bracelet. I love the bracelet with a simple necklace. 
If I wore it all at once, I was afraid I'd make too much noise when I was walking down my office halls because there are a lot of beads on these things. And they're beautiful. They're beautiful beads. In fact, one lady asked me if I could take this off so she could look at the beads. She was really impressed with them. Okay, let's start with these small ones. One of these I've been really excited to open. I hope it's everything I wanted it to be and more. It just came, I'm, I'm surprised this even made it here, you guys. Look at this. This package is so small. Oh, if you're new to my channel, hi. Thank you for being new to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. If you are returning, please check and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people from my channel. And thank you in advance for hitting the thumbs up button. That really helps my channel a lot. And thank you if you leave a comment for your kind comments down below. Now, I thought this was so cool. <laughs> It is, you can get your name. It's a personalized necklace with my name, Erin, on it. On And it's the Disney font. And I will link to, it was about $4.99. And I will link to it in my description below if they're still available. But let's take it out. The only thing that kind of stinks is that, you know, it's going to turn green soon or something but it's really cool to see my name in the Disney font I don't know how they get away with doing that I don't really think that's allowed I think that font is copyrighted but you know those Timu merchants sometimes bend the rules a little bit to put it mildly okay so I think it's best if I just show it to you up against the white background. So there's my name in the Disney font, Erin. Yeah, it's got two N's on the end. They didn't spell it wrong. My mom said she was so goofy after the birth. That was back in the days when they gave women drugs while they were giving birth. And she said she didn't mean to put two N's on the birth on my name. She said that was an accident. She said she didn't know what she was doing. She was really out of it, filled out the birth certificate, was seeing double, put two ends on the end of my name. Okay, that was way too much information about my name. I don't care. No, I don't know what this is. Let's open this small one. Man, I've got a dry throat today. Let me just whinge about something. Today was non-eventful, just worked worked went to meetings this is an eyeshadow stick and it has got different it's kind of interesting if it works out i like the concept of it i just don't know if it's going to really work out the way i hope it's going to work out so it's got this and every layer is a different color so this would be like your base well, this is a pink. Then you screw it. And I think then you pull off the... Oops. Well, this was a color, but it's gone. Hello? All right. Well, that, that color is gone. That's all right. Okay, then this color. Is this color still here? Like I said, too good to be true, probably. Okay, so there's this color. Looks like it's about to bite the dust with a little crack in it right there. Oh, it's very delicate. And then the bottom one is this dark color. So that's kind of convenient. I will try those and see if they work out, but... Yeah, I don't know what I paid for that, nor do I know what order it came from, but they apparently they had to ship it separately. And is there anything else in this little bag? No. Okay, so that's two little bags out of the way. Where is my water? Let's all hydrate.
feels a little bit like public speaking when I do these videos. Just because, you know, 10,000 people watching them, no big deal. Watching and judging. Watching and silently judging. Okay, this is... These are... Now, do I really want to stick my hands in these? These are gloves filled with honey, paraffin, beauty wax. So, it's paraffin, beauty wax, hand mask, and you... Let's get these things out. Ten minutes. Here they are. What do the little triangles mean? I guess I should read the directions. It does have little scissor marks here to cut them. You cut them open. Ooh, and you stick your hands in here. And I guess you just chill for a while with your hands in this wax to soft soften them. I don't know if you heat these up. I guess it would help if I read the directions. Cleans foot and open the package. Place, flat place the paraffin wax socks. Okay, these are not socks. In boiled hot water. Oh, for three to five minutes until melted. I'm glad I read that. The thermochromic label on the glove. I'm going to say glove. They say sock will help you find the suitable temperature. Red is for danger and gray is for safe. So you wait until that turns gray. If it's red, don't don't stick your hand in there. And then, you know, I'm glad I read that because I would have just cut this open and crammed my hand down in there and, and, and whatever. Okay, cut them open with scissors. Test the wax to make sure it's a comfortable temperature. Uh, fit, it says wear socks and fit your foot with wax closely by, sm oh, the socks. Okay. These are just the socks directions. Okay. Wear the gloves and fit your foot with the wax close. I mean, fit your hand. I'm trying to substitute the words that are incorrect closely by smoothing the surface of your gloves. Enjoy the feeling of the warm on your skin for about 10 minutes Take off the gloves, massage until the essential liquid is fully soaked in the skin and can use it every day. Oh, really? So you don't just use it once and throw it away? Oh, here it is. It says one pair can be used five times. All right. I'll try it eventually. Uh, those are kind of, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I think I paid about five bucks for those. I'll let you know at the end of this video. But right now I'm on the page with all the prices for what I hope is my, what is what is my thing called? Cozy Winter Essentials or Winter, Winter Fashion or what did I call, what campaign did I join? I joined Winter New Looks. Okay. So, if you caught my haul the other day, you saw two pairs of boots that I bought. And each a black pair, and they are fleece-lined, and uh, this color, a khaki pair and that are fleece-lined. And they were 25, no, well, the brown ones, or the camel-colored ones, were $25.39, and the black ones were $26.29. And I'm sorry I don't have those right here to show them to you, but I did show them to you in another video. Now, let's get to this bag that I don't even have to cut open because it's already been sliced open in the shipping process. But I will kind of get this open a little bit more so we can see what's going on. I want to thank um, Rosalind for a wonderful Christmas card she sent me. Now, she sent it to Simply Jessica Marie and asked her to forward it to me. 
which is very kind of her, but don't, so yeah, everybody just send any mail to me to simply Jessica Marie and she will forward it. <laughs> don't do that to her. I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm joking. That would be horrible. She would never, ever, ever, ever talk to me again, let alone forward it. What a horrible thing to do to somebody. But I might get a P.O. box. I don't know. I don't want to get a P.O. box. It's kind of like saying, send me stuff. Here's my P.O. box. And I don't need anything. Okay. Let us see what... Oh, this is going to be last. Look, I finally got some of these decent bags. All right, let's pull out... Let's stop for a minute. Take a deep breath in. All right. I'm trying to get just anything out of this bag. Just anything. Oh, I'm just excited that I finally have those fancy Timu influencer bags. yippee ki -yay. Okay, what did I think was a new winter look? I tried to stick to the items in their campaign, I think, and they gave me, so Timu gave me an allowance of $200 for this campaign. So they gave me $700 and something, maybe even $800 and told me that I could pick several campaigns and only spend $200 on each campaign. So I picked this one for my first one. I haven't picked any other ones yet. But if you want to, no matter what size your channel is or your Instagram following is or your Facebook following is, if you want to be a Timu influencer and get seed money and buy free, basic, yeah, free things with it, just uh, look in my description below. There's a link that says become a Timu influencer here. Just click that. And then if, so I picked. Well, what is this? Is it a hat? Is it a scarf? Is it a. Hmm. Let me look. I'm really, is it a wrap? Is it a head wrap? Woman's autumn and winter fashion sports imitation fur hat. I don't think that's what this is though. $5.99? Because there's no top to it. Uh, there's another hat. That must be what that is. Because I don't see anything else like it. Really? So it just goes around my head? <laughs> All right. I mean, that it's fine. It's the top. I mean, the top is wide open, though. Like, here's my hair. There, I look like a cone head. Cheese. I'm just kidding. I'm not cheesing in that. Okay, can I get it? Oh, man. Look, Timu, look what you made me do. It's all right. Don't worry. I have a brush. Somebody left a comment. Kind of made me laugh. And it said, I can't believe you stop in the middle of your videos to brush your hair and powder your nose. What if soap opera stars did that? And I thought, well, what? It if soap opera stars did that, I would probably watch soap operas because that would be funny to see them in the middle of some dramatic scene and then have the guy go, hold on a minute, Lois, I have to powder my nose. You know, I would laugh. I would think it was a kick, but I could see how it could annoy some people here watching this channel. So sorry about that. All right, well, I don't know if that's what I think that is, but no, I'm never wearing that. I'm sorry, that's my honest review, Timu. No, I'm never wearing that. Timu wants my honest review. Now, one of these has got to be for 
trash. So it's going to be this one. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting a good bag on trash. Put it right there. Okay, let's get the orange glow of the sign out from behind my hair that's sticking up perfectly right here. What else is in here? What else did I think was a great winter look? Now, as you can guess, it was almost all clothes, but don't you worry. You know I wouldn't do you like that. I wouldn't do just all clothes. Okay, fancy bag. That could be a thumbnail. Now my hair is really staticky too. It is a big, now they're not kidding. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. When I order a cable knit sweater, I want a cable knit sweater, which is what this is. It's heavy. We also call them fisherman sweater. It's a lot of noise, unintentional ASMR. Not really with my screechy voice. Okay. I might wear this tomorrow. Whoa, I just got shocked. Guess what I learned? I learned this from maybe Mimi's life or maybe who learned it from somebody else or maybe a crafty glamper. No, is that her name? I learned that they put this piece of tissue paper that I always make fun of in to absorb any moisture, to keep it from getting, you know what, sometimes when you open up these clothes and you're like, it feels kind of wet. Well, that's why they put these in there. Now, I can't remember, maybe Crazy Mimi Yup. I, I don't know. I can't remember who I learned that from last night, but I learned it from somebody. If it was you, tell me in the comments and go, hey, that was me. Okay, this is very heavy, which is good. It feels very good. It feels very expensive. It zips down the front. I'll just walk around with it zipped all the way. Oh, it zips all the way. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, that really is a low cut zip. But no, it zips all the way to the bottom. Okay, it is a sweater that you put on and zip clothes if you want. Okay, cool. All right, that is cable knit, zip up, loose cardigan, casual long sleeve turtleneck, $29.99, which is not a bad price at all for something that this is a really good quality. It's not fuzzy. It's not like soft and fuzzy and weird feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like just a really good kind of like J Crew type sweater that you'd buy. So I'm excited about this. I'm gonna wear that tomorrow with my brown pants. All right. Let's see what else is in here. How are we doing on time? 23 minutes. Another fancy bag. Another fancy bag. Another fancy bag. Okay. Cold winter essentials. I have no idea what this is. Cold weather es essentials. I think I kind of bent the definition of cold weather essentials a little bit. This is, these are pillowcase covers. And they say, what do, what do they say, you guys? They say, You are my home. Oh, they're for Valentine's Day. Okay, that one's kind of cheap. I don't have anyone to say that to. This one says bloom, which I love. And it kind of goes with the decor a little bit. Wow, that wig really sucked all the life out of my hair. 
Not that it had a lot of life to begin with, but that's really pretty. And it is that canvasy material. This one says, bless this mess. Is that what it says? No, it says, bless our nest. Okay, well, bless this mess too. That's what I hoped it said. And then this one says, let's get naked. Just joking. It says sunshine with a little flower. Okay, I like the ones that say bloom, sunshine, bless our nest. I don't, I mean, me and the cats. Yeah, and my mom, of course. Okay, four-piece summer printed pillow cover. Linen cushion case, Nordic simple. Those were those are nine dollars and forty nine cents. So yes, I did pick a summer theme for my winter new winter essentials campaign. Okay, here's something. Is my head in the frame? Somebody was all worked up because my head is never in the frame. It's a hat. It is elegant flower crochet bucket hat. Flower knitted basin hats lightweight. It's cute. It looks like Mary Poppins or something. And does do they go on the side or the let me see. I can't click through to see how the model okay, the model is wearing the flowers on the side. So Okay. <laughs> I look like one of those Swiss Alps people. Yeah, I look like a gnome. Why does every hat have to look so pointy on my head? Stop it. Smoosh that down. <laughs> I don't, I don't. With the right hairstyle, it's cute. It's a cute hat. It's just, is it for me? I don't, I don't know. It was, is it a five or a six or is that a nine? 549. Hey, everybody. Can you see me walking in work like this? I'm that quirky old lady who's old enough to be your mom and sits right next to you. How are you? That's how I feel when I come to work. Okay, we got to take this off again. Where's my wig? Okay, we need to take a, a soap opera hairbrush break. You get on camera in front of thousands of spirits. People. I'll say strangers because, you know, silently judging, typing in comments. It gets a little nerve-wracking. Okay, the next thing in here is... Are we on? Wait a minute. There's a lot more in my order than is just in this bag. Huh, maybe they crammed everything out. Let me take a quick, let me take a gander at my order and see what else is supposed to be in here. Because I ordered, for instance, a lot of earrings. Oh, we forget the whole top was slid open. One pair of earrings. Two pair of earrings, three pair of earrings, four pair of earrings, five pairs of earrings. Maybe they're in here. I mean, those are winter essentials. 
And I got this rockin' bag. Really? Not one pair of my earrings are in here? Anyway, I love this bag. Uh, I don't plan on really going out in the world with it, but I do plan on keeping it around here and storing things in it. Let me show it to you. It is vintage letter print tote bag, simple canvas crossbody bag. It was, it is $27.99. I think it's way less than that now because I see it around on the feeds. I see it around on the Timu streets. And it looks, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's 27 bucks anymore. Okay. Let me entertain you. I can't get it. Let's just all take a moment. Listen to the relaxing, crinkly sounds. See if we can ever get this out of the bag. A uh, few people want to know why, why I didn't have a tripod last night when I filmed that uh, opening in my mom's bedroom, that air fryer and why in the world I didn't get a tripod because I film on either a laptop or this big iPad Pro with the magic keyboard and do can you get that in a tripod I don't think you can I did the best I could leave me alone all right so this is um the bag and it is it says Paris Republic of Paris it's got a zippered pocket on the back. All right. Nice. And then it zips closed, which is a plus. Then on the inside, it has got a nice strap. It's kind of a soft, um, suede feeling material. And there is a okay, slip pocket, a big slip pocket, a skinny slip pocket. They are lined with, you know, faux leather, which is kind of a nice touch. Let's see. And then there's a zippered pocket, the usual zippered pocket in here. It looks like I got to work on this zipper a little bit. And it's very big, it's very deep. It's got these cute little leather flaps on the side. And I really like it. I like it a lot. You could put everything in here. I mean, this would be great to travel with actually, because you could put an iPad in here and you could put a bunch of other stuff and it would be awesome. I was looking at tours to Japan because I really want to go to Japan. I want to go to Tokyo and some other places. But I, I want to take a tour, I guess, with a tour group. I was going to go by myself. But the more I think of it, the more I want to go with other people. But all the tours are for couples. And I can't find any... Like, then I looked at singles tours. Like, even though those things... Man, my friend went on one of those. And she said it was just like a hookup extravaganza. And that's not what I'm looking for. Like, I'm looking for what I really want to take. I really want to tour the place. And I want a tour with a lot of free time. Like, I don't want to be just, like, carted around a bus from place to place to place with an agenda like this, you know, the whole time. So, I'm really kind of picky about what I'm looking for in a tour company. And what was the whole point of that? I don't know. I've been looking at tours to Japan. Although I'd be terrified there'd be an earthquake the whole time I was, was there. No, but I really want to go to Tokyo. And I really am thinking I'm going to make it a thing this year. <gasps> oh, no. All those earrings just fell out. Hold on a second. 
Well, two pairs of earrings just fell out, and I just saw a third one, too. Man, I am so clumsy. It's on the floor. I can see it. Hold on a second. Let me get my leggings. Legs out of here. If you can guess how many pairs of black leggings I have, you win a prize. And that prize is a big virtual hug from me. Because I don't even know how many pairs of leggings I have. Okay, all my, all of my, hujima what's it? My earrings were in that bag. So let me show you the earrings that I thought were new winter looks. The first one is a pair of these, which would have been cool with this necklace today and this turtleneck. Let me get them out and I will hold them up. Let me try to get them out and I will hold them up. My back today, I'm going to be I'm going to be that person. I'm going to be that little old lady. My back today is killing me. Like, really bad. Like, shooting pains down my back. Here they are. They're really nifty. Stainless steel. And, yeah, I like them. Okay, so there are those. And those are right in front of my face. No, they're not. One ninety nine. Next, we have something one pair classic luxury white sapphire. I don't know. Let me take this out and we'll look. Oops. Why did I, why did I do that? Here comes Loki, here comes Loki, right down Loki Lane. These are something I cannot figure out to save my life. Um, okay, they hang down like this. They look like this. They're cool, I like them a lot. Pearls hanging down from little sparkly V's. I really love them. These could be some of my new favorites. Okay, those are pearl decor stud earrings, women's elegant fashion earrings, blah, 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 149. Why do I have a feeling more earrings fell down here? Oh, well, if they did, I'll have to show them to you guys later. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to just sling that bag around. I, I had given up on all the earrings. There are a couple more things in here. There is this. I'm bummed because the earrings that I really wanted, flower pattern drop earrings. Uh-oh, here comes a little friend. Hi, Loki. Oh, I talked to the shelter people today because I wanted to learn more about Loki. So Loki was abandoned at a fire station. Someone just left him in a box outside the fire station as a little kitty. And his ear was hanging off. And the vet said it looked like he had gotten it like snagged and cut like in a barbed wire fence or something. Like trying to get under something because of how clean the break was. It wasn't like, it didn't have like chew marks on it or anything. And so the vet had to go ahead and amp and it was hanging off. I'm sorry to be gross. And the vet had to go ahead and amputate it. And then the shelter told me that Luna was also in a box of abandoned kittens that someone just dumped outside the animal shelter one night and left them there. So that's where Loki and Luna came from. They were both, um, they've never really known life on the streets. They were dropped off as little kittens in boxes at various places. So, but 
Loki, I don't know then how his ear would get like that if he wasn't running around loose. I don't know. I would hate to think a human did that to his ear. Like, that. Uh, uh, I don't want to think about that. Okay, I got these little simple, they're very kind of cheap looking. They're very flimsy, silver. It's hard to show jewelry when I have all these little gems all over my nails. I'm sorry about that. I'll keep that in mind. I'm about to do another, I'm about to do a Ms. Blue review and I'll put on plain fingernails when I do that. Okay, here are those earrings closer to the screen. Those are okay. They were $3.99 and they are nine. Oh, they're S925, a five, nine, what? Hold on a minute. S925 sterling silver. Okay. The ones I really wanted are not in here, or they might be on my floor. If they are, I'll show you the next time I'm online. This is, this is the tiny pair of white sapphire earrings for one forty nine and they are probably too small for my earlobes but they hang down and why would I wear those when I could just wear my moissanites? Okay let me take just one Yeah, my fingernails are too distracting. So they look like this when they hang from when they hang from your earlobes. They're pretty. But they have an interesting this is the the side. So I don't know if that's going to work out so well, but if it does, it's going to be very pretty. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, for $1.50, that's a great price. And now finally, last but certainly not least, I guess. I mean, there's still... There's one pair of earrings that did not show up in here, but I bet they're on the floor when all those earrings went flying everywhere. Pretty bummed about that. I mean, I'll find them the minute I stop filming this. The last thing I thought was a cozy winter essential or a new winter fashion or whatever the name of this campaign is supposed to be is... Let me feel around in here and make sure. Okay, here he comes. Loki, somebody left you in a box. Now you live with me. Okay, you want to get in there? Every cat loves to get in the Timu bag. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty excited about this. If it's what I think it is. What are my favorite things? I've liked everything in this haul so far, except for the hats. And I really like my name in the Disney font. And this, my friends, is a winter. <laughs> it's a reborn monkey. Now, what they did was they knocked off Ashton... So the company Ashton Drake has these monkeys. And what people do is reborn artists will buy them and then weight their bodies like real reborns. But he's an okay size. And of course you need this monkey for the winter. And let me get him out. And we'll check him out. He's got hair rooted all over him, which is kind of... Or at least over his arms and legs. He's got a little net on his head. Now what he comes with a birth certificate, a bottle, a pacifier.
Man, suddenly I feel like he might be in a give a future giveaway. Hi, Luna. Be careful. Oh, dear. No, Luna. We were doing so well. Poor Luna. Hi, Luna. Okay, here's his little uh, magnetic pacifier. And no, Luna. She's going to step on my computer and possibly turn it off. Let's see what else is in here. There she is, Luna. I don't know what this is. Please don't throw up on me. Are you going to throw up? Are you going to throw up? I can't even click on it. I think this is a little hat that goes on his head or something. And it comes with a bottle. I don't care about this stuff and a birth certificate. Let's take off the net around his head. If she throws up on me, I'm going to. His hair needs a little bit of work. Shock the monkey. Okay. Fluff it up a little bit. Give it some height. The higher the hair, the closer to Jesus. Well, should we smile for a thumbnail, Luna? There goes my nose is starting to get stuffed up. Okay, Luna doesn't want to play anymore. Okay, here. Cheese. Hello. Look at my monkey. It's a monkey. All right. You think that's going to be okay? It's a monkey. Oh, I bought another monkey. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to make it one of those thumbnails where people go, oh, I bought a monkey. It just looks weird when I do it. Okay. Well, here he is. So he's got little monkey feet. Painted monkey toes, fuzzy monkey legs that go all the way up to his cloth body. That's a lot of rooting that they had to do for this. And underneath, he's got painted monkey skin. And where's his pacifier? Is he, does he have a magnet in his head? I think I really messed up his hair in a bad way. How much was this monkey? Well, I didn't pay anything for it, but it's $57.49. Pacifier is stuck to everything. Oh, look at that. He's a little baby. He's a baby. You want him, Luna? Okay, $57.49. Sense, and I could lean back and put this way up here and go, oh my, it's a monkey. Monkey baby. I don't feel like taking off his clothes, but we will open up the back and see what is going on under his head. So if you want an authentic one, go to Ashton Drake, which is the website. Oh, there's like a piece of tissue paper in here oh that's his diaper oh he's wearing a diaper okay all right well that makes sense I guess it's a big diaper for a little monkey but he's got a cloth body and a huge diaper on underneath is a little overalls and you could take this his head off here's the little tie back here you could snap that open Take out some of the polyfill, put in some weighted beads, and weight him to feel like a real baby. He's a reborn, what is it called? Handmade, detailed, painted, reborn monkey baby doll. Alright, so obviously that's a new, hot, new winter look. I can't get this zip now. Or closed. Why did I do that? I really messed him up. All right. What time is it? 6 45. 6 
45. It's time for me to eat my nightly apple. I'm just kidding. Uh, I eat my apples whenever I feel like it. I love eating apples all of a sudden. Especially when they have caramel and he does not have shoes. It's pouring. Okay. All right, everybody. There you have it. That's my Timu sponsored hauls with a few things that were not sponsored by Timu. For instance, I paid for this Disney necklace of my own money. And I will link to that below. And I paid for this eyeshadow stick with my own money. And if you're interested in that, let me know. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's worth it to even care. It's pretty. So you could use the bottom. It looks like you could use it up really fast, though. I'm very bummed that the top highlighting color is completely gone. I don't know where it is, but that kind of stinks. Like this, this color is empty, like there's not even a thing. I don't know what happened to it. But this one was my buy, and that thing was mine that I bought, that necklace, and I've not forgotten now what else I bought. What does this one do? That one's really white. Oops. Wow, the rain, you guys. It's raining really hard. It's making me a little anxious. I don't want to go. I don't want to hang up. I don't want to hang up. Oops. How do I get this back on? Bye, Luna. Oh, you'd screw it. Luna! Bye, Luna. Okay, and then this final color is, here comes the wrecking ball. He came in like a wrecking ball. I don't know. It makes sense to put all this on before I go to bed, right before I have to wash it all off again. Okay, don't eat my necklace. No, no. Loki, no. Loki, no. Okay, everybody, if you watched this long, thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, we're creeping to 11,000 subscribers. That's exciting. Very slowly, but I think we'll get there sooner or later. And thank you for your kind comments down below. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I can't thank you enough for all your support and for watching and everything you do to support this channel. So it's time to go. If things are getting jumpy. I'm getting jumpy. Things are getting loud and crazy. But I will talk to you. Oh, wait, did I forget? A... No, okay. We will talk to you soon. Tomorrow? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. All right. How do we stop this thing?